Once upon a time, the infamous rover Renardo plundered the floating isles. Then his mother called him to her deathbed. Swear to me that you won't die on the gallows. She rasped. Reluctantly, he swore. And he whiled away his days at home with music, cards, and wine. But the Emperor had changed. He'd been good once, a shy, almost humble toad. He'd built universities. Then people started whispering about mass graves in the woods. Midnight rituals, victims screaming. The Imperial Ravens would round up entire villages, and no one ever returned. The Ravens had come to Ubar scouting for ancient books said to be of great power. But the librarians had hidden the books, so they'd burnt the librarians. The citizens, outraged, had driven them off. The Ravens had come back with dropships. The kid had fled with one of those books. He was brave and dumb and wanted to join the rebellion. And Renardo had promised his mother he'd protect him. Wow. That's an interesting start, isn't it? The kid was looking down, watching his city burn. Sorry, kid, Renato told the kid. Look, if we give them the book, they'll leave you alone. My mother died for this book! I promised her I'd protect you. Oh, damn it. The kid had run off. With the book, of course. So Renato had to run after him. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Bailey Harris and welcome to Stories, The Path of Destinies. Now, I've heard a little bit about this game, how where you when you complete it, it it's like a multi kind of story ending game. So you do one story and then it sends you back to the beginning where you can choose the same path but choose a different option in the path so you end with a different outcome and there's Four different story ways to go. I don't know what they are, but we will find them out together. Now this is going to be a long one because I think in each one of the four storylines, there's like five or six outcomes in each one. So this will be a long one. Obviously, it will get to a point where I'll skip a few bits and I'll come back, you know, play it through. But for now, I'm not going to do that. So let's continue. Oh, let's start, should I say. Great graphics. Really great graphics. The two ravens were staring at the kid like he was their dinner. Which probably was what was in their tiny brains. Hey, Bernardo said. They cocked their heads at him. Pick on someone as ugly as you. Wait, that didn't come out right. For the Emperor! The ravens cawed and rushed at him. Oh, that was easy. Okay, got it. Bring it on. <laughs> There's probably a few power ups in this game. A drop is going to get as well. Overhead. Hoped they hadn't noticed him. The kid. Oh, next grab, aim, and everything. Oh, yeah, I got it. That's the problem. Oh, right. The Gate of Heroes. Someone's idea of a joke. Making the Skyship Docks a gated community. You needed a hero's sword to open it. And the kid was on the other side of the gate. Who let you through? Promise me you'll take the book to the rebels. Or I'm going to steal your ship. I'm not taking the damn book anywhere. And neither are you. Try and stop me, laughed the kid. I bet you don't even have a hero's sword. And with that, the kid hopped away. Had to hand it to the kid. He was an idiot. But he had guts. Where was Renardo going to get a hero sword? Ooh, chest. Or and 
wind essence? That sounds about right. Only perfect. Workshop. This is sword crafting menu. Here you can craft and upgrade powerful magic swords. Gather the required materials from the chests scattered throughout the forest. Okay, select the sword current level and special power. Okay, let's select the sword, special power at the next level. The resource needed to upgrade the sword. A hero sword. Hey! QED. When I get 30 more ore, I can upgrade I can upgrade this, which allows me to heal myself. <laughs> and the, the current state in state to face is, is look look badass. <laughs> Oh, it's okay, but I mean, we look greater when it's in the, you know, clean. This is what he got for settling down and finding people to care about. The kids mum had been a swell green. cook and she'd laughed at him out of jokes, even when he didn't know he'd made one. And then the ravens had come to burn her. And she'd made him promise to protect the kid. But she never told him where the book was, just the kid. He came up to a ledge. It was too far to jump. There'd been a bridge here before, hadn't there? And there was Peter, giggling at him. How'd you get across? He asked the kid. Where'd you find a hook? I hopped, said the kid. Wise-ass kid. Hey, look out behind you! Cute, said Renato. Ah, oh, ravens. Trying to kill this guy, can't kill. Yeah, yeah good money damage. Time to talk some sense into Not the kid. Bad. Just hook his way across the ledge and chase the kid down. Thing was, he hadn't used his hook since he'd retired. Would he have done it? Maybe if he meditated at that altar there, he'd remember his old skills. Each time you gain a level, you can also you, or you also gain a skill point. Spend your skill points at the altars scattered throughout Boros to gain new powerful abilities and upgrade exist and upgrade existing ones. I told you we can get some skills or abilities. Uh, there are four tiers of skills. The more truths you discover, the more tiers you unlock. Okay, that's for like the force section things. Skill info, you go, okay, skill info, skill points to spend, go and buy hook. Okay. My skill was starting to come back to him. Something you've never uh, completely forgot. Post like how to freeze time when attacking. Gotcha. The more you the fought, next I is, the more um, you'd probably dash. remember. That'd be nice to have. That's handy. Oh, look at this. And there was the Farfarer. She was the fastest ship he'd ever known. She could do the Kestra run in 12 furlongs. Oh, so the salesman told him. And something told him the kid was about to walk into an ambush. Stop! He shouted. I'm not giving you the book! Shouted the kid and took off. No! Peter! But the kid ran for it. And a goggler nailed him with its eye. Unburned. Next to it were the buckles from the kid's shoes and the kid sized pile of ashes. Damn it. Why hadn't he lied and told the kid he'd take the book to the rebels? The kid would be alive now. Really pissed off and betrayed, but alive. Oh, damn it. Renardo picked up the book. He couldn't let the Empire have it now. He was going to have to get it out of there. He'd be a wanted man. Probably have to join the rebellion just to have a place to dock. Well, he'd hated home life anyway. What was the big deal about this book anyway? Maybe he should open it and find out. All that had been years ago. How many? The war was a blur. 
and now three Raven scout ships were chasing him. Where are you running, rebel? Cored the Raven captain over the loud hailer. Renato could see them cranking up their catapults. Just going out for milk? Renato yelled back. Where can you run? Laughed the Raven horribly. Far behind him, another city was burning. The dark cloud above its island was thousands of Imperial ships. The fleet was doing a thorough job. Take us to the rebel base and we'll spare your life! It called. The entire jury-rigged rebel fleet was only a few islands to the east. Beyond that were only the Pillars of Heaven, a sea of endless blood-colored tornadoes. The rebellion was out of time, unless Renardo could bring a game-changer. Maybe he could. Renardo had found out where he could find the pieces of the Sky Ripper, the legendary weapon that had exiled the lost gods. Surely a legendary weapon could win the final battle. On the other hand, his old friend Lupino had sent Renato a desperate message saying he had a brilliant scheme to save the rebellion. If Renato could only rescue him. Renato dived the farfarer towards the abyss. As he felt the heat of the jet stream, the raven ships peeled off, not stable enough to follow him down there. Now it was time to choose. Lupino or the Sky Ripper. Now... In any case in my mind, I would go to go, okay, fuck friendship, go for the fucking weapon. But the kid just died. I'm feeling a little bit heartbroken, so I'm gonna go for the friend. Ah, Lapino. Apparently the mad rabbit had sold a Pegasus that he did not exactly own. Hmm. Lapino always wiggled out of trouble, given time. But he was out of time. The Ravens had figured out that Lapino was a rebel spy. If the fleet reached him first, they'd string him up for that. Never mind the winged horse. Okay. We're going to go save our friend. I'll cut back on the recording when we get there. Lapino had apparently managed to confuse the judge by arguing that he hadn't actually stolen a winged horse. He'd only sold it. Wait, where was the prison? The village was empty. Had... Had everybody fled the ravens? And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. And we are here to rescue Lopino. See a few ravens down there. There's one of those eye bitches over there. A few more of those ravens. Oh, there's a chest. I'm probably not gonna... People go through every single were chest these we'll days. Well. Just two weeks past, Renardo had sneaked through an empty town and listened to the Raven's call about the Emperor's new taste in ritual sacrifice. Renardo's blood was up. He just needed to smash something. Yeah, like I was saying, um, I'm probably going to go through every single chest because I think I can go through this storyline more. <laughs> Not the exact one, I just kind of go through like multiple over and over and over again. So I'm not gonna go through every chest. If there's like, you know, chests on the way, then maybe I'll go through it. Oh, water and fire is not bad. But, but I think it's theoretically impossible for me. Well, it's not really impossible, but it's just time consuming. I want to get this, and I want to get episodes done quickly, not spending most of your, wasting most of your time. I want to have episodes, you know, short, but in short, interesting, not long. Boring. If that made sense to anyone, it didn't mind. And I'm the one speaking. Ravens were landing everywhere. The advance. Level up. He'd better get moving. If they got to Lupino first, they'd eat him for breakfast. Or a snack. Ravens weren't picky. If they got hungry, they sometimes forgot to interrogate their prisoners. Even top spies like Lupino. Where had the mad rabbit got to? Ooh, chest. A lot of ore. Fifteen, two wind essence, one water, and one fire. 
need 30 ore in total to upgrade my uh, hero sword. <coughs> and it's nearly Christmas, guys. Nice. Like I wish you all a Merry Christmas things. and a Happy New Year. To come back to it. Something you've never completely forgot, like yeah, how to freeze attack. time when nice. attacking. The more he fought, the more he. Oh, look at that! You remember? Sword scraping across the floor. Sometimes game developers like you know. Sometimes game developers add in those tiny little details. Usually gamers don't do them. But that that tiny little extra detail really makes the game like, a little bit more you know, realistic. I think you know, it's a little sword, but it's also heavy as well. I haven't taking out the sky yet. Oh, yeah. Hey, welcome to Earth. Renato told the corpses. Oh, another hero. It was something he'd seen in a play once. Now, this has changed the light of mood. Oh, that looks like uh, another sword get a full wind. Seeing as the wind definitely is purple, and that's purple. Get a known skill point. No, I can level up. Can I? Can I? Oh, hang on, because it's when it's not when distance or can I go back and upgrade or is the path blocked? It is not. They can use the ultil. Uh, attacking in the previous attack has done a perfect strike, bonus damage, and double combo. Yeah, yeah, let's get down. That's all right. What I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm not gonna cut this episode now, but at some point I will cut it off. So pretty much what this is now, I'm pretty sure we'll... Oh look, there's Lupino. I think it's like when I talk to the Lupino, it's going to be, um, you know, I get to choose the next option. I'll choose that option, then I'll get to the next option, and I won't choose the option, but I'll let you guys choose option if there is another option. I'll let you guys choose not this option, but the next option of what to do, then I'll end the episode there. If you guys don't choose an option, it, it's fine, I'll choose myself, but it, it's up to you. But then, if you want the videos longer, I'll try and make them longer. If you want them shorter, I'll try and make them shorter. It's completely up to you. You have to tell me before Dirty the next episode. Dirty and bloody, Renato finally reached Lapino. The rabbit was practicing his shuffle. Renato recognized the cards. It was Lapino's favorite deck. Oh, I thought you were in danger. I am. The ravens are coming. Oh, the prison thing. Right, yeah, we see this guard owed me 53 ducats, so we made a deal. They're very reasonable people, actually, for weasels. Now, I got a brilliant plan to kidnap Zenobia. We capture Zenobia, we find out what she knows, and that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Capture the Emperor's greatest general, who also happened to be a deadly sorcerer and, oh, his only daughter. That would be worth it. On the other hand, he could still get to the core of the Sky Ripper, even if he couldn't get the whole thing. It must have great power. Hmm. Now, see, capturing Zenobia will be brilliant because then we can find out what she knows, and pretty much Lupina, you know, already said it. That's all over. But the Sky Ripper, or another part of the Sky Ripper. And it says the armature, its core, was still within reach. So I'm guessing this is like, you know, the other part of the sky was like the, you know, the main part, but this part gives the power. Now, in my mind, if this core is probably unstable, so it's going to you know, go kaboom. So we'll, we'll take an easier route, but at the same time, still a game. Zenobia route. wasn't just the Emperor's daughter, of course. She'd been Renato's best friend in Swordfu school. Ooh. And you're still mad for her, the rabbit reminded him. <laughs> They'd been close. She'd told him things no one else knew. But she'd never told him who she really was. She knows all the Emperor's plans, chuckled the Master Spy. She won't give them up easily. <laughs> She'll tell the interrogators all right, said Lapino. Taking her would change the game all right. Okay, I did not know about that. 
Like last time, I'll cut the recording back on when we get to the next part. The city was already under Zenobia's control. They had to admire her efficiency. Renato shivered at the thought of Zenobia at the mercy of the interrogators. Could he really turn her over to them? But this was war. It wasn't meant to be pretty. And we are back. And we are here to capture Zenobia. I see a chest down there. Can I get off the platform, please? Thank you. Okay, looks like everybody's dead. Oh, what does the fox say? I saw a massive chest mine that I'm guessing we need like maybe a water sword. So I'm done with that door. Uh, yeah, wrong so I'm gonna need the water sword. Or can I can I can I sneak attack? No, 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 sneak attack. Sneak attack. <laughs> Bang! Ha <laughs> ha! And everybody goes cuckoo. And this is why heroes are called dashing. No, no, no sneak See? attack. Dashing? Sneak attack. Get it? And there's the Pino. Not trying to be funny, but I'm kind of feeling. And the Pino's not really saying who he thinks he is, because I mean, back then when he was just, you know, in, in the graveyard, shuffling his deck, it kind of, I mean, I know that he said, you know, he paid the, the guy so he wasn't in the prison, but I mean, if he's just chilling there, waiting for us, wouldn't it be easier, because if he was paid to not be in the prison, he could have easily hopped away, and he, he said he was a master spy, so he could have easily gotten away, or like meeting us in like a better location than that. We'll have to see how it plays on through. So, what's this plan of yours? Use me as bait, said Lupino. And he outlined a slightly complicated plan that involved geese, a net, setting the farfare a little bit on fire, Lupino dressing as an old blind toad, and Renardo hiding inside a monstrous watermelon. What could possibly go wrong, thought Renardo. Go for the Pino's geese net fire toad woman and plan, or not the time for hair brain schemes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust him. I'm gonna trust him. Oh, this is gonna be fun, said Lapino as he ran to go set up his marvelous plan. There's the wind gate. If thing. I craft a sword now, it's gonna be really short. My Jesus. Oh, okay. It's it's the void. Sword then. Okay, not water sword. Winter. Dawn. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. I'm guessing wind. Uh, like where we cut wind and ice and snow. And yeah, fire sword. Just gonna have to get more rules. I have no idea what the gems are for, but when we find one, we can then know what it does. He have wasn't that good. Now, yet. Another battle. Yes. Oh, look at it. Beautiful one. Lighting. Lighting. Oh, I, I thought it might have been, you know, I might have been able to like, dash through the enemies. Still damage. Maybe, maybe it's gonna be. But I just, you know, zoom around. Oh wait, I'm nearly, I'm nearly um, leveled up. Renato felt dubious about the whole plan. With every step, he was waiting for it all to go horribly wrong. But against all odds, Lapino's idiotic plan worked. Zenobia's ravens ran off after the geese, the net dropped, and Renato jumped out of the watermelon and put his sword to Zenobia's throat. Renato, she said, are those new scars? They look good on you. You never return my velvet jacket. It was my favorite. You look stupid in velvet. Ah, oh, what does an imperial princess know about style? Ah, oh, get a room, you two, said Lapino. But the fleet was coming on fast. So they put Zenobia on the Farfarer and took her east over the Nexus. She'd vanished from Swordfu School, from his life, without even saying goodbye. 
without ever telling him she was the Emperor's adopted daughter. Ah, Lapina was right, Renato thought reluctantly. She knows things. She recognized his look. You're taking me to the interrogators, aren't you? She said, wide-eyed. And then she jumped, with horror. Renato saw Zenobia plummeting. Then he saw the Nexus below them. Cats always land on their feet. Oh, oh she's she's head for the Imperial outpost. Yeah, the Pino. You have to catch her. Oh, okay, I'm guessing there's no um quick option thing then. Okay, we'll do this a little bit, then that'll be the end of the video. And Cats can run faster, but foxes can run longer. If he ran, he could head her off before she reached her minions at the outpost. Well, he did love a good chase. Well, who doesn't? I mean, he's a freaking fox. That's actually bad. Oh, I can. I'm sure he'd find something useful in one of these things. Okay, that broke. What's down here? Oh, a little party path. Let's take it to her, lead us. There's a thing back there. Oh, I need a winter sword for that. And what do I get? Oh, bit of ore. Anybody loves a bit of ore. Oh, 26. If I get four more ore, I can level up my sword. I'm guessing in one of these, um, like, um. Who needed bridges anyway? Okay. I'm guessing when I like these little four-way storyline things that I was talking about earlier, I'm guessing in one of them, you must, like, you know, win. Like, win overall instead of going back. And I'm guessing in one of them, you maybe get with Zenobia or the Pino is your friend, something like that. Back to see. And what do these guys do? These are done at the same motion. Well, avoid the Warlock's fire spell, it will damage everyone in the area once it explodes. Oh, okay, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Can I break this, please? Can I break it? Okay, I can, so I can. Flash through things. Shoot! No, 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 no. I guess we're gonna find like a load of new enemies anyway. Maybe like a few ones that are like the same, but like uh, abilities. Maybe I'm getting used in every single game like this kind of you can find. There's usually a guy with a shield. I'm guessing we're gonna farm one of those soon. Oh, yes. And usually um, in every one of these games, you have like uh, all these sword crafting materials. You usually find like you know, you know. Bitch who's like, yeah, I'm gonna make all these enemies stronger, I right? say so do more damage, right? But even if you kill me, they're still gonna have to fucking bust. Or if you kill me, they'll all, you know, go back smell to smell her fear. He tried not to think about the interrogators at the secret base. What did they do to her? Three? Three or? Maybe it didn't have to be. Give me like five. Maybe give me three. But after all, there were worse things the Imperials had done to friends of his. Sorry guys, I thought in the middle of that. Ooh, crafting bench. Renato wondered what he could make with it. Da 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 da. Hold R2 to activate magic sword. Okay. Swords consume energy while active and switch swords. Like that. Okie dokie. So I gain health from this sword. Oh, look at that green. It looks amazing. Come here. How can I go over there? I wanna, I wanna go. Uh, maybe I gotta use another sword to. Take another one, maybe. Yeah, it goes. I don't think the swords do any more damage. I think it just means, you know, I get the ability to heal them. Or maybe it does do increase damage.
Shadow needed. reached the outpost. Okay. The Imperials there were no match for him. Soon after, Zenobia limped up the path. When she realized he was already in front of her, she didn't even try to run. Oh, you left without saying goodbye. Again, he said, please. I'm enjoying this a little too much. She said, shaken. Oh, spare us the chit-chat, would you? Said Lapino as he shackled her hands so she couldn't throw spells. She knows all his plans. All the way back to the far era, Lapino nagged Renato about how the interrogators would pry all the intel out of Zenobia. How that would turn the tides in the imminent battle. All they had to do was take her to the rebel's secret base. Renato didn't like to think about what the interrogators would do to her. Couldn't he just talk to her? Right. This is going to be the end of this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, if you want the episodes to be a little shorter, I will try to. If you want them to be, you know, longer, I'll make them longer. If you want them to be round about this kind of length, I'm not sure how long I've been doing this for now. If you want it to be round about this kind of length, I will do that. And you have, guys also need to put in, in the comments below about all that. And also in the comments, if you want me to choose every option from now on, or if you want to choose options when I leave it off so if you guys want to choose an option say the top one or the bottom one or just say to me you know choose whatever options you want to do and then I'll, I'll do that I'll try not to use no you know trying when I you know further on in the episodes I'll try not to do the same outcomes over and over again if I do I'll cut it back to the beginning and then you know just kind of there but anyway guys that is the end of this episode I hope you guys enjoyed and as always I will see you Hey, my man.